Good morning from the bus stop at Boardwalk. Um, Brian and I were sitting here checking out the times this morning. We're going to Magic Kingdom because they open at uh, 8 and so we're already late I think because it's like 7.30 but I don't know if you can see that but it says 6.26 so I don't think that time is right. It's broken. Yeah I think it's broken. So we're gonna wait for mystery bus time and head on over and enjoy it. Also, there's absolutely no one except Brian and I at the bus stop, which is kind of strange, but I guess it's because Magic Kingdom opens early and we're trying to get there and all the other parks open at nine, so I guess that's why. And we've made it to Magic Kingdom. We love 8 a.m. opening. I mean, not for the hour, there's the awesome train station, but for the um, fact that it's not crowded, we got through security easy, got through ticketing easy, and it's after eight. It's like, what, 8.05 to 8.10? It's 8.15. 8.15, so. There's not five million people crushing this area. Yeah, right it's really nice, yeah. Highly recommend it if you can do it. And there's a glorious sight. First castle viewing of every trip is special to me, and I'm really enjoying this final look at the Halloween decorations. Tomorrow is Halloween, so this is right at the tail end of that. And we're actually hoping to see some Christmas ones on this trip towards the end, we'll see. And then Brian talked me into getting a birthday button, even though my birthday was last week. He said it's close enough and that this trip was for my it birthday. Counts. So he said that I'm entitled to a birthday button. I got my second pin trade of the day. Gingerbread man, he's cool. Oh, he's so cute. Yeah. All right, so this is what 8 a.m. at Magic Kingdom looks like. It's pretty freaky. Um, now, this is not really magic hours. Those are busy. This is when the park naturally opens at 8 a.m., which it does occasionally. But you can see how pretty much deserted it looks by normal standards. It's really nice. You feel like you have the park to yourself, kind of. Yeah. First ride of the day, Haunted Mansion. We are now going to do walk on for Peter Pan. We were going to have a fast pass for it later, but we kind of want to jump over to Epcot. So we're going to go ahead and do it. We are in the Peter Pan queue. Occasionally there will be like a pirate flag on that backdrop on the bed. Yeah, I haven't seen it do it though. I don't know if it's working this time. And I'm too short, but Brian I think can hit these bells. <laughs> there we go. Not yet. Not yet. Yes. And off we go! decided to walk on to um, Ariel's Under the Sea Adventure. This is one of our favorite rides, I think. We really like it. And there's nice. there's never a wait, which is awesome. I love these guys. So we've decided 
to get on the speedway and if you're watching our one take vlogs we're gonna try recording one we'll see how it goes so we just finished our one take vlog for today so if you want to see how crazy it was us riding around on the Tomorrowland Speedway check that out and um, we are about to get out of our car it was a really fun ride though yeah. I had a good time. I like this ride. I do too it's fun. The Epcot Innovations background music loop is my very favorite, but this Tomorrowland music is my second favorite background loop. Love it. So we've decided to now ride our favorite ride, People Mover. Yeah. Woohoo! Here we are on People Mover, our favorite ride. Sit back, relax, and enjoy your Grand Circle Tour tomorrow. It's the highway in the sky. Today, the weather is absolutely gorgeous. This is, I think, one of the best weather trips we've had in a long time. The last two trips, it was brutally hot, and even in April, it was fairly hot. Oh, here comes an entirely empty car. What? That was a super fun ride on People Mover. I could stay on here all day, I think. Did you have a good time? Did you get some good castle pictures? Yeah, I'm going through right now. <laughs> I had to stop and take a few pictures of the castle. I really love this new hub area because it makes for good pictures. Like, yeah. it really looks a lot better than like it used to. some space if people are like, not right, right in front of you. Yeah, yeah. It's really nice. <laughs> at the train station and luckily it's a little shady here and Brian got some popcorn Whoa! and it's got this really super cute Halloween box oh yeah that's really neat yeah. and he says fresh it just came out of the popper yeah. this is one of Brian's favorite treats and it has to be that court right there yeah he loves that card on Main Street it's like <laughs> tradition all right so this is goodbye to Magic Kingdom for today but we will be back um, definitely at least one more time this trip and maybe more, but we're headed to Epcot now.